Town of Pell Lake, guys. I used to live here a long time ago. Nice town. A lot of fun. The, uh, Fourth of July, they always had fireworks here by the lake. It's actually a really nice town if you want to, you know, if you're looking from Illinois to get somewhere a little more quiet. Uh, houses are pretty cheap here, and I honestly love this town when I lived here. If I was to buy a house again, I would. You know, I mean, there's local bars where you could walk from your house to go to and you ain't got to worry about getting a DUI or anything. Uh, there's probably like four or five bars in this town. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if drink is your thing, this would be a great town, you know. I mean, you and the wife walk down to the, you know, the bar and have a couple drinks and walk home. It's a great place to live. Like I said, the 4th of July, they have fireworks here. It's pretty cool. Decent schools. Cops are uh, cops in here aren't bad at all unless you are drinking and driving then you kind of get what you deserve I guess but uh, yeah the cops here are pretty chill actually can't say nothing bad about them And talk about the cops, there's one right there. <laughs> Chill cops, see, you even waved at me. Nice guys. And ice cream. Anybody want ice cream? There you go. Yeah, if I had the money, I would definitely buy a house back in this town. You know, since I lived in the mobile home park, they've been raising my rent $20 every year, pretty much. You know, $15, $20. I'm almost to the point where I can buy a house again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this area right here, you, you gotta watch out for. People blow this stop sign all the time. So if you did move here, always watch that. You, you don't want to get run over or hit in your car or whatever. People, they get off the highway and they just think they can do what they want. And, you know, not stop and everything else and you can buy fireworks here the actual kind of explode you know so it's kind of it's kind of cool like I said I mean great town my blinker on oh geez I'm surprised that cop didn't pull me over for driving around my blinker on forever uh, I need to buy that kit for this thing for shutting off the blinker for some reason whenever I drive this bike I always forget to shut it off my big one I never forget it seems like but this one here always Well, I hope the motor's not too mad at me for pushing it a little bit today. But I'm taking the back roads home so I can chill out on it a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, I'm kind of thinking the riding season for over here is getting coming pretty close to an end. It really sucks. And that's the other thing about living around here in the Pell Lake area, Twin Lakes, Powers Lake, is there's a lot of lakes around here. So if you have boats and you like fishing, you got it made. There's a lake on this side over here, and then there's another lake on this side over here. So you guys, like I said, if you have, if you have boats, you got more than enough lakes to go out on. I'm not sure what this lake is. I think this might be uh, Nipper Sink, I think. And that one over there is Powers Lake. The one on this side is Powers Lake. The one on that side is uh, Nipper Sink, I believe that's the name of the lake. I'm not 100% sure on that though. You know, I grew up in the town of Randall, which is like between Powers Lake and Twin Lakes and all that. And uh, the school there was great, Randall School. Uh, awesome towns. I grew up here in the, you know, I was like 14 years old when we moved up here. And it was in the 90s. and. Well, actually, around 84, we moved up here, actually. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I grew up here, like, from 84 up. And it's a, it's a great, it's great, you know. I mean, I, I loved it out here. A lot of cool friends. And now we're coming to the town with jerk cops. <laughs> the town of Twin Lakes. I mean, they're probably not all jerks, but I just know every time I drive through at nighttime, I always get pulled over and it's so annoying. I just feel like I'm being harassed. But uh, I bet they do. You know, I drive home about two o'clock when the bars close and that's probably why, but still. You know, I'm coming home from work. I'm not coming home from the bar. And I, when I do drink, I choose to drink at home. Not at, you know, not at a bar or anything, unless somebody else is driving or something. kind of amazing the weather is so nice and there's like hardly anybody out I just don't understand it I guess everybody just wants to sit on their computers or sit on their butt and watch TV all day or whatever but I don't know watching stupid shows like the Kardashians most worthless people there ever was. And that lake right there is Twin Lakes. One of the two, there's two of them here. There's Lake Elizabeth and Mary, I believe. Oh, and I got a guard coming. Okay. 
Lake Mary and Lake Elizabeth, they are. It smells like a lot of burning leaves or something going on out here. Like a lot of people are burning leaves. It's all I smell is smoke. Yeah, it doesn't even look like that many of them fell yet, but I don't know, maybe. Tell you what, one complaint I do have about this motorcycle is the seat sucks. 